Namaste friends, welcome to Art and Tarot. So what we have started doing is we have started doing tarot for different people from different countries and today we are going to uh, interview, we are going to do a tarot for my one of my friend who is uh, in Canada. His name is John and he has just joined in. So I'm just going to invite him. Hello, Nathan. Hello, friend. How are you, <laughs> brother? How are you? <laughs> really good. Now you, you have shaved you. yourself, and I'm like grown myself. Yeah, <laughs> I gave you my hair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So it's. I think we are seeing each other after like uh, more than a year. You no know, day. I think one and a half years, I guess. Yeah, just before pandemic. Yes. And, like a month. Uh, and, it, and I guess we were fortunate enough to go to Banaras together yes. and uh, experience that beauty. <laughs> yes, I'm so happy you came. Magical yes. place. I'm, I'm glad too that, uh, you know, you gave me a chance to come. You know. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, uh, uh, to my audience, you know, is my yes. friend, my brother, uh, John Francois. And he's from Canada. He speaks English and, and French. And uh, John, probably you can tell us something about yourself and what you do to, to my audience. Bon, ben, bonjour à tous. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm from Montreal, Canada. So it's the French part of Canada. I usually speak French. Yeah. My English <laughs> is my second language. Uh, I am working in the movie industry. I do graphic design for the art department. So we usually like create the cars and accessories for movies. Yeah, he's but actually working in the Hollywood. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yes. That's Hollywood <laughs> of the North. <laughs> yes. So, yes that, so that's my work, but I'm slowly trying to free sometimes to explore a bit more my uh, spiritual life. So I would say that uh, work is important, but it's uh, just a means to, uh, to free sometimes for uh, traveling and uh, meet uh, new friends like Nitin or uh, go around the world to explore spirituality. That's my main yes. passion and uh, goal in life, yes. I would say. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Me and John actually met each other. Uh, you know, he came and stayed with us when we had Airbnb, when I was doing Airbnb. Yeah, yeah. it was very, I was, it was a very beautiful experience. I, I get to meet a very beautiful person. <laughs> oh, thank you. And I got the yeah. chance also to meet you. It was amazing. You're a really yes. part of my spiritual life. I would say, Nitin, you're like the uh, ignition, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> like you started the motor. So yeah. I'm really fortunate to still be in contact with you and still have, a, I think, an amazing relationship of us uh, going on the path together and sharing and uh, exploring. I'm, I'm so glad. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm, I'm going to do a very general reading for you, a very general message, what the tarot wants to, you know, give us for you. Mm -hmm. And the next is uh, we will, you know, ask, you can ask a few questions, whatever you want to. Okay, mm -hmm. let's start. Yeah. Have you done your tarot before? Never. Oh, this is the first time? Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And let me tell you, you know, like, uh, he, it's actually morning in Canada. And he agreed to do it for me. He just woke up, I guess, you know. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. Wow. Money, money, money. You, uh, you know, money is coming towards you. Oh, thank oh. you. <laughs> yeah. And I guess uh, you were working towards it. And uh, it, it tells me, you know, you have saved and you are taking care of it and you are making it grow. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing that uh, it is just pointing towards, just make sure if you feel like giving it to someone, um, just don't just give it, you know, I mean, don't empty yourself in a way. <laughs> and the other thing, what it is saying, it, it basically talks about be careful of your expenses. Mm -hmm. You you have actually reached a stage where you are able to, you know, you have established yourself and you are taking care of yourself in a very beautiful way. 
and uh, this is a very positive time for you the other message which is coming for you it's time to come out of some kind of an um what do you call it some kind of a, you, uh, there was a bondage feeling you know deep inside there was an emotional bondage which was there or probably you were you know you were supposed to go through some kind of a healing and it's talking about that you are finally see it's a very tricky situation you might just you know enjoy this you know the the situation in which you are but the cards you know they kind of you know suggest me that you have the power and you can come out of it very easily if you want if you are in this it's only because you want to be in it probably you have you just started enjoying it i guess but uh, it's tricky because you might just get uh, stuck into it so so i mean whenever you see yourself that you are stuck that you are emotionally getting stuck and and this emotions is is like draining your energy it's time to come out of it that's what it is telling okay Good. yeah so this is a something very genuine now you can ask whatever you wish to oh my god i'm so not good at asking um <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, i can i can also um do a relationships thing for you or the career thing for you if you like uh yeah maybe a career because i'm on the the brinks of changing i want to change my career so oh, you want to go into something else now yes i i love my job but it it's a little bit too stressful and time uh, consuming and i want to uh put more time into my spirituality so i i'm kind of been looking for a few years a way uh, of uh, out of uh, the movie industry and into something else that i don't know so it would be interesting to see maybe what the future uh i'm kind of know where i'm going but i'm not like searching for a specific things where i want to go i'm just let things come to me so it would be interesting to see what what the cards okay. could say but when that. you say when you say you know like you want to you know go into something else what do you have in mind what do you want to do for money i i'm want to find a way i when i started doing the uh, graphic design and movie industry it was a passion i would say nowadays it's not passion anymore it's mainly about money so i want to move away from it because for me it's not interesting anymore and what okay. i'm passionate about nowadays is meditation so i was looking oh. yeah looking into maybe trying to find something in the meditation world that i would i could like not necessarily make a lot of money but just to be able to sustain myself and to uh to offer like some kind of uh, what what i'm really good at is is creating space so offer a space where people would come in and be uh they feel trust and safe to explore their own spirituality so it's precise and vague at the same time because i don't really know how to do it but okay. it's kind of clear that it's probably going to be in that way see you are at actually uh, at a crossroad at the point at the moment you are totally at a point where you can start doing things what you want to do mm -hmm. i already see that you have saved a little bit with which you can you know give yourself a go and uh, you can go into different streams and you can try it and it is also showing me that you will be able to choose something to do which you love mm -hmm. i mean you you are already following your passion when we talk about money there could be you know the money could be a little less as compared to what you were doing right now mm -hmm. but it is going to stabilize it is going to give you what you are asking so definitely tarot uh, you know tells me here is that you are given that option you can actually choose to do what you would like to do and uh, you can definitely you can go ahead and just do it you know when you said money is coming to us you i was like well my name is lakshmi and i just arrived in ohio yesterday <laughs> so lakshmi is is one of my friend and lakshmi is is uh, is a goddess uh, you know which we worship here in india Mm -hmm. and uh, so lakshmi is coming your way but 
not very far she is in us and you are in canada you can still meet lakshmi <laughs> meet john and please come to him you know yeah. <laughs> and please come to us too you know <laughs> yes okay so yeah everything looks good everything looks positive and definitely you can think of changing it but just make sure that uh, you know you have something in your hand before you take the leap yeah yeah yes great advice yeah lakshmi just say oi oi we yes yeah okay so yeah uh, next question john oh, why well, let's go into relationship man as well is since you, uh, you are you seeing project. anyone right now yes ah oh, nice what's mm-hmm. her name alvera alvera okay was she in india the same one no? yes oh yes. Okay. the one that you missed because we were like uh, kind oh, of yeah. busy and far apart yeah that's nice yes um things are good they are going stable and uh, there is a good emotional and your energy is very much matching with her and it's going in the right direction and it just it it also shows me that it's a kind of a process which is showing between you two it's a process of growth it's like you are about to take the relationship to the next level you are about to go uh, you know you have finished one one aspect of the relationship now is the time to go into a second stage of it or the next stage of it which is which is and again it shows a very positive thing because uh, the card which has come for you is the hangman the hangman basically shows like some kind of a process is about to get completed and in all this process you are gaining wisdom and it seems positive for you and it is going to take you to the next stage so this is also good are you thinking of getting married or something <laughs> i i'm not a, a marrying guy but she is she's from mexico american okay. mexican so they're more like inclined to get married and everything mexicans and, are like half indians in a way you know yes they <laughs> are think like indians similar. yeah there's a lot of similarity and uh, yes. she it's important for her Yeah it's not as important for me but I'm ready to uh be ready to take her. the next step of course <laughs> I'm I'm ready Well I, I but I guess uh, you are enough you you're taking your time mm-hmm. and uh, you are hello shruti how are you we are just interviewing uh, I mean not interview we are doing a tarot for John he's from Canada <laughs> so so I guess you know what I see here is the you know that you are already taking you know a proper time Yes you are letting it you know get mature you're not uh, doing anything you know uh, in haste you're not taking any any quick decisions mm-hmm. so this is very beautiful because you are you know allowing the fruit to get mature and when the time comes it will fall you know yep. that is it i'm really good at that <laughs> thank you shruti your live sessions are always great she is saying and she is also happy to see you john and that's yes. one my friend shruti <laughs> okay so uh, i guess uh, that was it uh, can we see the morning there will you be able to show us yes how can i do that okay <laughs> i have to switch okay nice wow i have my little friend so john in flower. montreal canada i can offer you and uh, Yeah. Nice plants. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Flowers is also there. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so very beautiful. Mhm. Thank you. Yeah. So it was very nice to see you John. Yes, Thank you so finally. much for coming. Thank you for taking out time. <laughs> And I hope to see you Shruti saying bonjour. <laughs> bonjour. Bonjour <laughs> Yeah. So um I hope to see you in India soon or probably uh, yeah. I will come. Let's see. Mhm. Yeah, I really hope to see you soon too. Yeah. Or maybe uh, you can come to Canada next time. Yeah. Or probably. Mexico. 
Yeah, Mexico. Are you going to yeah. get married in Mexico or uh, or France? I, I, we're not there yet, but I am living kind of half the year in Mexico. Yeah. So <laughs> if, if you want to come during, let's say, uh, the months of uh, October to March, I will be in Mexico. And I think you would love it in Mexico. If you've never, have you been? Uh, not Mexico, but I've been to this New York. <laughs> Good. So next time you can come and uh, I'll show you either. Yeah, Lakshmi. Montreal. I have to I have to meet Lakshmi also in US. Yes. So oh. if I go, if I come, I'll, I'll meet Lakshmi first, then I go to Canada. That would be amazing <laughs> to see you here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, man, for for joining. Yeah. Thank you so much. It was great thank seeing you. Thank you so you much and... for watching. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. See you soon. <laughs> see you soon. I love okay. you, man. Love you too. Okay. Yeah. Bye.